Hi everyone and welcome to Two Minute Finance, where we answer all your financial questions. And today we're going to talk about the difference between simple interest and compound interest and why you should consider an account that offers compound interest. So let's get started. First of all, what is interest? It is the cost of borrowing money. For example, you may be familiar with interest charges you accrue on your credit card each month if you don't pay it on time. It's the fee the bank charges you for letting you borrow the money from them. What about the other way around? That's right. You can be the one earning the interest when you invest or deposit your money into accounts like saving accounts that the bank borrows from you for their own activities. There are two main types of interest, simple interest and compound interest. Simple interest is the interest you earn on only the initial amount of a loan or deposit called the principal. Compound interest is the interest you earn on both the principal as well as on the interest previously accrued. Think about it. For example, let's say that you make a deposit of $20,000 into a saving account at the bank that only offers simple interest at annual rates of 5%. After one year, your return on investment will be $1,000. Since simple interest is interest you earn only on your initial deposit, this means your annual return will always only be $1,000 every year. Now let's say you make a deposit of $20,000 into a saving account at the bank that offer compound interest at the annual rate of 5%. After one year, your return on investment will also be $1,000. But remember, compound interest is the interest you earn on both your initial investment and interest previously accrued. So after two years, your return on investment will be $1,000 and $50. It is 5% of your initial investment on $20,000 plus the first year earned interest of $1,000. You'd be earning much more money over time on a deposit you are going to make anyway. So choosing to go with a compound interest account would be a much better return on investment than a simple interest interest account. Which type of account offers simple interest or compound interest? In general, simple interest accounts are things like car loans, person loans, saving accounts, depending on the bank, and mortgages. Compound interest accounts are things like index funds, stocks, saving accounts depending on the bank, and IRAs. Now you know the difference between simple interest versus compound interest. Let us know in the comments if you are thinking about investing in a compound interest account. Make sure to subscribe to be notified when we release our latest video. Thank you so much for watching Two Minutes Finance and see you next time.